Great. We'll start off with Malika Andrews from ESPN. Hey, Kevin. Um, I like that Oakland hat. Uh, I, I'm wondering, I guess, we, we've we've talked a lot about defense and a performance like this. Yes, it was flashy offensively, but what does it leave you feeling from a defensive standpoint? Um, I like our attention to detail. I like how we, uh, I mean, we didn't get a lot of plays perfect, but we made the second and third efforts. And um, they didn't destroy us on the offensive rebound. So that showed that we were in boxing now. That was an emphasis for us. Uh, but for the most part, we just did what we were supposed to do. We went two at home. Now we got to see if this game is going to travel on the road for us, and we got to stay locked in. Bruce Brown said, speaking of that, uh, the, the series doesn't start until we go to Milwaukee. What do you think of that mentality? I mean, that's just I – mean, I feel like that's every team's mentality if you uh, got home court. Um, we know how important game threes are, and uh, we know that their crowd is going to be in it from the second we get on the floor for warm-ups. And we know their guys play more, they play better and more comfortable when they're in there, sleep in their own beds and got their, you know, same routines um, at home. So, you know, we, we got our work cut out for us, but we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Kevin. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Kevin, do you think your intensity is contagious because this entire team looks like they're playing with a laser focus right now? Yeah, I mean, you got to credit that to the coaching staff. They do a good job of keeping us focused in shooting rounds and practices and not letting it slip for a second um, on, you know, game plan, practicing. You know, it's just been it's been that way, you know, whenever we get a chance to practice this whole season. So you got to credit the coaches for keeping us locked in. And, and you know, then I try to help them out you know, when, you know, when we in the locker room by ourselves and trying to, you know, tell guys what I see and vice versa. Everybody just they got an open dialogue out there and what, what they see and we just try to correct it and, and follow the game plan. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, this is twofold, uh, specifically with Giannis. I mean, everybody can see what he's capable of doing, but in your mind, what were the two or three biggest keys to keep him from ruining and wrecking the game plan? And secondly, Bruce Brown specifically, What's he meant for you guys defensively? How contagious is his effort defensively? Yeah, I mean, Giannis shot 8 for 15, um, 11 rebounds, 18, 18 and 11. Uh, uh, you know, they didn't play much in the fourth. So, I mean, he still did his thing, you know. So, uh, we, we got to just – it's tough to stop him, so we got to be physical and do our work early and – uh, making sure we could test the shots and not giving them just anything easy. Uh, but Bruce just comes in and plays uh, uh, extremely hard. And, you know, like I just said earlier, nothing's going to be perfect, but guys make second and third efforts. They can make up for that stuff. So this is for us to stay focused. I'm going to slide down a little bit. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, I got a two-quarter for you on Bruce. Just it, it seemed like obviously he's been great in the short role all season, but it seemed like Milwaukee's defense really didn't know how to handle him there tonight. Just if you can kind of speak to the impact he had for you guys offensively with some of the looks he was able to generate. Yeah, like you said, the short role has been there. A lot of teams in the pick and roll uh, sell out to double team us, and we drop it off to Bruce, and he try to make the correct play. So he got a great touch around the basket. He makes the right play, and he, he you know, he, he understands that position now. So uh, we're going to need more from him going forward. And then just for either of you, if my memory is correct, he was playing pickup with you guys a lot last summer. I mean, that you guys have played a lot with him in the past year. Did you ever see a role like this for him when you guys first got him, or is this kind of come out of left field for everybody? Um, me and Kyle talked about it once once we got Bruce that we, you know, playing against him the last two years. I mean, nobody really knew him in Detroit, but when you play against him and you got got him in the scouting report, and he kind of disrupted our flow when I was in Golden State a bit one game. And I was like, yo, who is this kid? You know, and he was a second round pick. I didn't hear of him. I didn't watch him in college. So. Uh, we knew that he played with extreme passion and intensity. And uh, whenever he had got a chance, early on he wasn't playing for us, so, but whenever he got a chance, we knew he was going to come in and make an impact. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, bro. Hey, King. And then there was one. Hey, Kyrie, uh, you know, you guys obviously don't, don't have James. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, did you think you could put together this kind of a performance against that good a team? Uh, I think we were capable of greatness every single night. Uh, you know, it just depends on uh, the approach we have coming in. You know, throughout the regular season, I feel like 
we would let our guard down playing against some of the teams in our league and they would punch us in the mouth and we would come and talk to you guys after the game about what happened. And I think we've just figured out the little things in terms of how to create separation within the game and just remain uh, resilient throughout. Um, you know, that's, that's basically what it's come to. It's just remaining resilient no matter what's going on and sticking to our preparation, our game plan. Greg Logan with Newsday. Harry, do you feel like uh, there's something about the, the defensive scheme that you guys are playing this series that is different than in the past? Or is it just a matter of raising the intensity and, and the level of effort and, and help that you're giving each other? Uh, it's the level of effort, our uh, attention to detail, our communication. Uh, you know, we're just really being there for one another on uh, that de on the defensive end. So that, that makes a huge difference uh, when guys are playing against us and, and instead of seeing one body, they're seeing two or three. And uh, we're just trying to make the, our opponent think. Michael Grady with Yes Network. Hey, Kyrie, you, you and Kevin certainly have a you know championship pedigree. When you guys are locked in the way that you are, how does the crowd amplify that the way that this Brooklyn faithful has in the first two games? I mean, you know, we're, we're just uh, evolving. Uh, we're, we're an evolving team and that just includes everybody that's in our locker room and everybody that supports us outside. Uh, you know, we just have all walks of life just supporting our team, uh, you know, and it's, it's just bigger than basketball for us. So uh, I'm just grateful uh, that we're able to, not only just entertain, it's a small part of it, but we're just playing for bigger reasons. And, and coming into our home floor, uh, you could feel that energy. Like I said, it's just so diverse, so many different walks of life there. Uh, so it, it's always a, a honor to play in front of the crowd. Um, could you pinpoint something, uh, the way the game went, it may be the opening tip, but could you pinpoint something that kind of sparked and fueled things, whether it was a defensive possession or a bucket on the offensive end that really got the ball rolling tonight? Yeah, I just think it was our pace. Uh, we were able to get stops, able to push the ball in transition, and uh, capitalize off of a lot of opportunities uh, we had with mismatches. mismatches. Uh, we just got to continue to be mature with the basketball, take care of it, um, and just continue to do our parts uh, out there. Um, you know, we're asking each other to be at a certain level, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just paying dividends for us right now. We just got to keep the same level of, of – uh, of intensity or, you know, just paying attention to detail. Like I said before, going into Milwaukee, it's going to be um, unbelievable energy. And, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to the challenge. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if you've talked about the mentality of, of going into Milwaukee. Kevin talked about it. Bruce talked about it. Uh, I'm wondering if there is any teaching that you see to be done for folks who maybe are riding, oh, we're up 2-0, but going into the other folks' house, or if you feel like that's an unspoken sentiment that everybody knows already. I mean, it's, it's, it's the nature of basketball at this level. Uh, you know, being in the playoffs, understanding that the home crowd, it does make a difference, uh, you know, and people play a lot more comfortable when they're at home. They're able to see their families. They're able to prepare. They're able to get the shots in. They're able to weight lift. They're able to do the little things that keeps them um, in their routine or comfortable. Uh, so we just want to come in and just break their rhythm a little bit, understand that, the, you know, runs are going to happen. They're on their home floor. You know, th those guys are looking for a response game. Uh, and, and we just got to be prepared. That is, it's simple, you know. The fans aren't going to come on the court and block anybody's shots or, or do anything, um, but they're going to be loud. And uh, that makes a difference in our communication. So we just got to make sure doing those little things. Thank you. Barbara Barker with Newsday. Uh, yeah, Kyrie, on the first possession, you came down and hit that three. How important personally did you think it was considering the way the last game started with kind of a gasp for you to start this game, you know, and make a statement about where it was going? Well, honestly, uh, I was just trying to start off the game uh, with a good shot. Um, it, was, it was good contest, uh, you know, from Giannis. But I, I just think, uh, you know, when we're getting the game started and we run a play uh, that's designed for me to be aggressive, uh, you know, I'm just doing what I'm asked to do. Ian O'Connor with the New York Post. Yeah, Kyrie, your head coach just said that he sees no difference in the way Kevin is playing now as, as opposed to before his surgery. I'm curious if you agree with that assessment. And if so, what, what specifically impresses you about the way Kevin is playing right now? Uh, he's just letting the game come to him, and, and he's playing it uh, so effortlessly. And we're so used to seeing Kevin do that. Uh, so, 
you know, wherever you put him in the ranking of the best players ever, um, you know, or the best players playing our game, uh, whatever, you know, for us as, as uh, you know, historians of the game that we are in terms of the culture that we, we protect here in terms of brotherhood um, and the respect we have, uh, you know, we're just seeing him just continue to get better. And, and I know that sounds crazy, but it's just slow for him. You know, the game is so slow. He's able to get to his spot and raise up over anyone. And when you have a, you know, 6'11 or 7-footer uh, doing those special things, it kind of eases uh, the possessions for us. Uh, and when you're able to do that, then you know, it creates uh, some problems for the opposition because now they're playing on the heels. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Kyrie, you talked about the team effort on the defensive end. I just wanted to get your thoughts on the unselfishness and selflessness of your team on the offensive end tonight. 27 assists, uh, 36 points in the first quarter, 65 in the first half. Yeah, that, that's how you, you play the game the right way. Uh, you know, we're very special individually, uh, but the selflessness, uh, which you're referring to, is really what creates the difference. Uh, you know, defense is going to win us games down the stretch, uh, but offensively playing the right way and trusting one another is is those those little plays that make the difference within the game where we don't have to you know, go go for it all right then and there, uh, whenever wherever the score is, wherever the score is. So, like I said, this, this team we've grown so much and we continue to do so. Obviously, we're missing James, uh, you know, and we're just filling in the the, the pieces for him. Thanks so much, Kyrie. We appreciate yep. it. You guys go home safe. Yep.